in my last video you have seen what is cosmic absolute that is God or the universe whatever you call it as but that is the cosmic absolute and the energy that's upbound everywhere that's available in the universe is the cosmic energy and the part of that cosmic energy and the cosmic absolute is trapped in your body and that is your soul and so you have the God within you not outside this is what we have seen in my first video now to continue on that what I have to do is I would explore some new horizons consider you are sitting exactly in the equator on a day when the day and the night are same at a time when sun is about to rise and you are seeing exactly at the place where the sun is going to rise at the time you will be seeing a constellation in the horizon where the sun is about to rise that constellation will be nothing but the Virgo the zodiac Virgo so okay now we are seeing it okay Virgo is there but what about all the other 11 constellations will be asking about all these things you go on watching the same phenomenon from the same place at the same time every year and continue doing that for 2000 years the next zodiac will come at the place so once in 2000 years the zodiac moves so for the entire 12 zodiac to move it takes about 2400 I'm sorry 24,000 years so it takes about 24,000 years for that entire cycle to get completed so you would have heard a lot about zodiac's predictions lots of people are coming out and you will be wondering whether they are true or not so we ask some predictions what are they I have just now told you an event which is happening and this event has been translated into astrology and that is what you are calling a zodiac so whatever soul that is entering the body gets influenced by the zodiac constellation that is nearby and the angle to it and also the planets and other stars the angles everything contribute for the soul's identity Okay. See, once the soul enters your body, what happens? Life is created. When the soul enters the body, that's another question mark. The soul enters the body at the time the child comes out of the womb of the mother. The moment it comes out, the soul enters. that exact moment is called the birth time when the soul enters the child gets life, new life and the first thought or the first feeling that the child feels what it feels a sharp pain in the stomach 
It doesn't know what it is. But it knows only that it's a pain or it's giving. And it has to be bited. It also doesn't know what to do if such a pain comes. But involuntarily a command goes from the brain to the throat and a scraping voice comes out and later it identifies that as crying. But at that time it doesn't know it is crying but it's something involuntarily happening. The first feeling that it gets, the child gets is the hunger and the second thing is the pain and the third thing is the sound. So, it cries, it doesn't know it's crying, but it's crying. So what happens then next? It is not doing anything, but the reaction of this action happens elsewhere. The child then sees what mother's warmth would be. the milk oozing out from the mother's breast and the love showered upon it through her eyes. These are the things that the child sees next. So it learns to trust the one who has helped it to stop the pain that has started in its stomach, the very first feeling that the child has got. So the first feeling is the hunger, pain, crying, the taste of the milk, the knowledge that the milk could go inside the stomach and stop the pain, and then the love from the mother's eyes. All these things get together and enter the brain of the child's knowledge. So what this knowledge has got to do with the cosmic and whatever thing that we have been talking so far? We will have to deal with it in the next video because it's already become a big one.